All right, guys. So today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about how to catch jack crevals in backwater canals. Everything that I say today will apply to passes and rivers too, but today it's backwater canals. So what I find is really important when you're fishing an area like this is to find moving water and to find a drop off. That was a tarpon. So right at this marker, that you can see up there it drops off from about two foot to 25 foot on this side and the jacks love to cruise around this mouth here mouth of the little canal where it opens up into a uh, little bit deeper water they love to sit there and wait for mullet and other bait to come out to them and then they eat them so what i'm going to throw today is just hard plastic jerk bait tends to work better if you can get a little bit bigger one that'll probably work better but this is the last one I had I broke off a couple times already so this is what I have to work with but no matter the size whether it's a little rapala you use for bass or a gigantic offshore jerk bait it's gonna work for these little jacks and big jacks so let's get to it it's another tarpon up there There we go. There we go. That does not feel like a bad one, folks. I know jacks aren't a real game fish, but I tell you what, they are really fun to catch. Oh no, oh no, 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 we're not doing that today. He's trying to get me around the pilings. <laughs> Tighten up my drag a little. There he is. All right. Let's see if we can land him here. If they end up going under the boat like that, just put your whole rod underwater. Obviously not to your reel, but just put it underwater. Otherwise, you take a great chance of breaking your rod and breaking your fish off. It won't hurt the rod as long as you wash it off. I've had this rod for a couple years now and I have to do this all the time. Oh, buddy. And you don't wanna grab up on your rod like that because it's made to be grabbed here and you'll break it if you're not careful. All right, well, once you get a hold of that leader, be very careful, don't ever wrap it around your hand or you'll cut yourself really bad. Just do a tail grab on this fish. And lift him up into the boat. There we go. Not a bad little jack. Let's see if I can get the pliers to get the hooks out of him and see if we can get another one. All right. There he goes. Off to fight another day.
there we go. Okay, so they're posted up towards the docks today. Fish for a couple more minutes and I was hoping that wasn't the only fish, the one that I just caught, but it wasn't. This guy was willing to hit. Nice thing about jacks is they almost never jump. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen one jump while you're fighting it. So it's something you don't have to worry about and it makes it really, really nice for when you're fighting them. <sighs> oh, there he is. Starting to, starting to see color. Let's see if we can get a look at how big he is. There he is. He is not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Shh. All right, let's see if we can land him. Quick release. I'd like to say that I'm upset that that happened, but actually it makes it really nice because it's fun to catch them, but it's not so fun to release them. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe.